This video is about the design process of my 3D printed remote controlled racing tank for the snow. The main goal of this project was to make something that is fun to drive. That means it needs to do wheelies and jump, but I also wanted to be able to drive in deep snow as well as on icy racetrack. I also want this project to be built only using some end tools and a 3D printer. I chose to tackle the biggest challenge first, and that was to design from scratch some snow track. It took a couple of tries, but I ended up with something that was looking strong and was not too long to print. I then designed the driving and the idle cog, and I made everything fit on a robot that I had built a couple months ago. It was now time to carefully test it by dropping some stair and doing a couple of jumps. This robot was way too wide and didn't have enough ground clearance, but at least I know the track could work in the snow. It was now time to design the new frame. I now have more distance between the front and the rear wheel. This will make the track have more contact area with the snow, and I hope will make the robot float on top of the snow. It was working pretty good, until one side of the robot stopped working. The problem was that the little blue parts that held the track together were catching on the top plate of the robot. So I made some precision modification and I was ready to test again. At this point I had a robot that was working great in the snow, but it was kind of slow. So the next step were to add some power, build a second robot and to race them on an icy track until some parts start to break. I also add some long screw to give it a little bit more grip on ice. I raised the robot for more than 2 hours over the span of a week. The problem that was happening the most often was that the track were breaking. I used some fiberglass reinforced belt to held the track together. I think that the cold weather made the fiberglass brittle and I think that was the reason why the track were breaking. I switched the fiberglass reinforced belt for some stronger one that are made in polyurethane with some steel wire in it. It was now time to do a little bit of jump and freestyle.
it turned out that the stronger belt were not strong enough. So instead I used some 1 16 of an inch stainless steel wire. That was strong enough. I also add a little door on the side of the robot to easily access the battery. That's really nice because it allows me to put the robot up and running in less than a minute. Those little doors can also extend and retract in order to remove the slack from the track. At this point, I can really call this thing a racing tank, because no matter how hard I drive it, it doesn't break anymore. I call this project a success, because this robot is really fun to drive. It does wheelies, it does jump, and it goes really good in deep snow. It can also be fully built only using some manual tool and a 3D printer. It doesn't need any complicated tool like a lathe or a mill to build any of the parts. That's all for today, but I will keep working on this project and on some similar projects. I already have in mind a summer version of this robot. It will be pretty nice to see it goes full throttle in this end. So, see you soon!